Hello everyone. This is Dr. Shiv Kumar from the Department of Physics. In my last video, I have discussed about the concepts of waves, the various types of classification of waves, the derivation of the progressive wave equation and then the derivation of differential equation of a wave. So in this session, so we'll move on to the next concept that is the expression for velocity of progressive waves in a gas medium. So this equation was first deduced by Newton. Hence this equation is also known as the Newton's formula for velocity of sound waves in a gas medium. So in order to derive that, let us assume that the sound waves are propagating in a gas medium. In that gas medium, let us assume a tube of gas medium along the positive x-axis with unit area of cross-section. So now in this tube of gas, let us consider two plane sections, one at A and the second one at B. So these two sections are at the positions x and x plus delta x from some arbitrary origin on the left side of the picture. So now as the sound waves propagate, the different layers of the medium are going to be displaced to different extents. So now as the sound waves propagate, let us assume that A is displaced to the position A dash and B is displaced to the position B dash. If Y is the displacement of the layer A, then dy by dx represents the rate of change of displacement along x direction with distance. So therefore, for the layer B, the displacement will be equal to y plus dy by dx into delta x. Whereas for the layer A, the displacement is just y. So therefore, keeping all these things in mind, so we'll move on to the description of it. Let A and B be two plane sections of the tube at distances x and x plus delta x from some arbitrary origin on the left as I've already mentioned. Then the length of the slice AB of the gas medium is equal to delta x. Since the area of cross section is unity, the volume of the slice is equal to length into area. Since area is unity, volume is simply equal to delta x. So this is the volume of the slice of gas between the layers or sections A and B or you can also call this as the original volume of the section AB. So now when sound waves propagate along x direction, if A is displaced through a distance equal to y, then the rate of displacement with respect to x along x direction is equal to dy by dx. So therefore, the displacement of the section B can be written as y plus dy by dx into delta x. Let this equation be 1. Now, so due to the displacement, the new position of A, now that is at A dash, is equal to x plus y. And the new position of B, that is now at B dash, is equal to x plus delta x plus y plus dy by dx into delta x where x plus delta x is the original position of B and y plus dy by dx into delta x is the displacement of B. Therefore, x plus delta x plus y plus dy by dx into delta x represents the new position of B. Now, in, uh, after the displacement, the length of the slice AB is equal to the new position of B minus new position of A, that is x plus delta x plus y plus dy by dx into delta x minus of x plus y. Here the x and x cancels and y and minus y cancels. Therefore, we get delta x plus dy by dx into delta x. So this is nothing but the length of the slice AB in the displacer position that is after the propagation of sound waves. So let this equation be 4. Since area is unity, again the new volume of the slice AB now at A dash B dash given by delta x plus dy by dx into delta x. The change in volume of the slice AB due to the propagation of sound waves is equal to 
delta x plus dy by dx into delta x minus delta x where delta x plus dy by dx delta x is the new volume of the slice and delta x is the original volume therefore the difference between these two gives us the change in volume of the slice ab that is dy by dx into delta x using this we can write the volume strain as change in volume divided by original volume so change in volume is nothing but from the equation 6 dy by dx into delta x original volume is delta x therefore delta x delta x cancels and we get dy by dx as the volume strain let it be equation 7 so now if p is the pressure acting over the section a due to the propagation of sound waves then the stress over the section a can be written as the pressure stress is nothing but the force acting on unit area of the section stress is nothing but force acting on unit area of the section so therefore pressure or stress is equal to p so therefore we have now we have the volume strain and the normal stress acting on the section therefore the bulk modulus of the medium can be written as k is equal to normal stress by volume strain normal stress is whatever the pressure we have discussed in the last equation p divided by dy by dx but we have a negative sign there so this negative sign indicates that the pressure and volume are inversely related that is as the pressure increases volume decreases and as the pressure decreases volume increases therefore p is equal to minus k into dy by dx so this represents the pressure acting over the section a similarly on the same lines as we have discussed in case of the displacement of the layers the pressure also varies from point to point therefore if p is the uh, pressure then dp by dx is the rate of change of pressure with distance along x direction so then the excess pressure acting over the section b is given by p plus dp by dx into delta x where delta x is the distance between the two layers a and p so therefore p plus d by dx into substituting for p from the previous equation we get minus k into dy by dx into delta x which is equal to p minus k into d square y by dx square into delta x let it be equation 9 so this equation 9 represents the excess pressure over the section b therefore now we have excess pressure acting over the section a equal to p whereas the excess pressure acting over the section b is p minus d square y uh, k into d square y by dx square into delta x therefore the resultant pressure on the slice between a dash and b dash or a b is equal to p minus k into d square y by dx square into delta x minus p as p and p cancels we get minus k into d square y by dx square into delta x here also the negative sign indicates that the pressure is actually acting from layer b towards layer a so now the resultant pressure acting on acting or uh, resultant pressure on the slice between a dash and b dash is nothing but the force acting on it since area of cross section is unity the force acting on the slice between the sections a and b is equal to the pressure the same force can be written as according to newton's second law of motion f is equal to mass of the gas in the slice a b into acceleration so mass can be written as volume into density volume of the gas in the slice a b is equal to delta x and rho is the density of a into acceleration is nothing but d square y by dt square where y is the displacement if y is the displacement then d square y by dt square represents the acceleration therefore del x into rho into minus d square y by dt square so again this negative sign also indicate that uh, pressure and volume are inversely related so therefore force can be written as minus rho into d square y by dt square into del x let it be equation 11 so now we have two equation for force one is 
the equation 10 and another one is equation 11. Now comparing equations 10 and 11, we get minus k into d square y by dx square into delta x, which is equal to minus rho into d square y by dt square into delta x. So here delta x and delta x cancels, minus and minus get cancels. Therefore, we get d square y by dt square is equal to k by rho into d square y by dx square. Let it be equation 12. And this equation is of the form d square y by dt square equal to v square into d square y by dx square. The differential equation of the wave which we have derived in the previous session. Therefore, if v is the wave velocity, then comparing the differential wave equation with equation number 12, we get v square as k by rho or v is equal to square root of k by rho. So this equation was first deduced by Newton in 1676. And according to Newton, the propagation of sound waves is in the form of compressions and rarefactions. So during the compression, heat is produced. During the rarefaction, the cold is produced. The heat produced during the compression and the cold produced during the rarefaction are communicated to the surrounding medium, thereby temperature of the gas remains constant. So therefore, he assumes the process of propagation of sound waves in a gas medium as an isothermal process. So now for an isothermal process, we all know that PV is equal to constant. Since temperature T is constant in the ideal gas equation, PV is equal to RT, PV is equal to constant we are going to get. So now differentiating this equation with respect to V, we get P plus V into DP by DV is equal to 0. Rearranging this, we get P is equal to minus V into DP by DV or minus DP divided by DV by V, where DP represents the change in pressure, which is nothing but the excess pressure. DV by V represents the volume strain. DP, the excess pressure, is nothing but the stress. DV by V, the volume strain. So therefore, P is equal to normal stress by volume strain, nothing but the bulk modulus. That means, so whatever the uh, in the equation, V is equal to square root of K by rho is there. So there, instead of K, we can use P. Therefore, therefore substituting for K in that equation 13, we get V as square root of P by rho. Substituting the values of P and rho for A, under NTP, normal temperature and pressure conditions, we get P as 1.013 into 10 power 5 Pascal and rho, the density of air at NTP is 1.293 kg per meter cube. Substituting these two values in the above equation and simplifying, we are going to get the velocity of sound waves in gas medium as 279.89 meter per second, which is nearly 280 meter per second. But Experimentally, Newton, Newton himself uh, has found out that the velocity of sound waves in a gas medium is around 330 meter per second. So there is a definite discrepancy between the theoretical value and the experimental value. So this discrepancy was later addressed by Laplace and we will discuss about that Laplace's correction in the next session. Thank you.